Yo. Hey, we're just walking down Windsor, long walk, had a bit of a stroll in uh, Max's neck of the woods. My neck of the woods. Hey. hey. Uh, both got jumps on. I've got a few layers on, I think he's just got one there, isn't it? Yeah, just one, one layer jump on. That's what we. That uh, goes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, right. Uh, shall you do weights before cardio or cardio before weights? Interesting question. It's an interesting question. So, um, one that you get asked a fair bit actually uh, and you see it always in forums if you look at forums i'm not sure what to do first so what should you do first and i guess it depends on your goals um whether you've got like a cardio day or a, or a weight day uh weight training day but for us if you have to mix both together yeah. certainly putting weights before cardio <coughs> we've got more, a lot more beneficial yeah i think yeah i think because if you yeah i think you, weights are better before cardio just on the basis but for me personally i think for us in terms of what we do is because you know if you went for a run and then tried to squat you know a you're going to be tired from the run yeah. and b your technique's not going to be there so you know because of your tiredness you're concentrating more on being tired sure. than the actual form and the yeah. weights lifted of in course, that yeah. certain exercise your strength would be decreased as well yeah so therefore it probably require maybe uh well you probably have like a different stimulus probably lower stimulus um, on your body, if you're doing squats yeah. or bench press or deadlifts or whatever weights you're doing, mm -hmm. you're probably not gonna lift as much. If you can't lift as much, less tax on your body. Yeah. Potentially less like muscle built over a period of time. Uh, I guess it's like a ripple effect, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think definitely. I don't. I think definitely because, like, I think it's a lot easier to do cardio after weights on the basis of, you know, you. You don't have to think about cardio as much. No, no, I mean, sure. If it's treadmill running, you're doing, you're just running. It's a natural yeah. process. You don't have to think about technique as such, or you know, if you're on a bike, you don't have to think about all the. No, no, sure. You, you just go it. hell of a leather at it, and then yeah. just sort of crank it out. Whereas, yeah, yeah if you do it the other way. It's a little bit harder. It's a bit. But yeah. what I wouldn't suggest is doing like squats and doing low body, then straight into cardio. If you're doing sprints. <sighs> no. No. That'd be horrendous. Yeah, leg, yeah, leg day then sprints. No, yeah, that's not great. Not good. So if you do do your cardio, make sure you do it on a day that probably isn't lower lower body dominant. Because mm -hmm. if it is like, I'm really funny. If you if you do like heavy squats or like a series of leg exercises and then try and run, like I don't know how how well you're gonna run, but you're probably gonna trip up on the treadmill. Yeah. And like smash your face on the floor. Yeah. And also, legs what, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say my legs don't tend not to work after um, yeah, after uh, a leg day. So. Running, running would be pretty much out of the question. Walking's a pretty much a bit of a struggle, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend walking like, struggle. Wouldn't recommend cardio after leg day. No, no, or, sure. And like legs, you probably do them like or twice a week potentially. So mm -hmm. on the other days, you got time for cardio. And if you, yep. and if you uh, are doing cardio, like weights and weight, uh, weight training and cardio, you can always do different days. You can do like weight training one day, like legs, and then just come in specifically for cardio the next day. So yeah. It doesn't have to be like one after the other. But if you are looking to reduce it. Uh, and putting both workouts in together, then I probably, probably, if you're doing weight training again, the type of cardio would be different as well. So I wouldn't do like long steady state cardio, walking or doing 20 minutes, half an hour on a treadmill, mm -hmm. or 45 minutes on a treadmill after a weight training session, because you're gonna be pretty tired. That's just a long time just doing nothing. Yeah. Um, and also you're probably gonna start losing like a little bit of your gains as well, in terms of muscle. Yeah. So just get that hit training in especially, because it's shorter. So you've done 45 minutes of training, mm -hmm. And then whack out 15, 20 minutes of hit training. Yeah. Short, short time. Yeah, and I think there's a quite a bit of stress put on your body if you start with um, cardio first, really, isn't there? Yeah. In terms of like eat, in terms of like your post nutrition and your sort of eating afterwards, it yeah. tends to be a bit more. Whereas if you can get your workout done, then cardio takes a lot less time, so you're more yeah. likely to get be able to get that protein shake in or that nutrition in straight away. Yeah, sure. Rather than doing it the other way where you've got, you know, you might do 20 minutes of cardio and then you've got an hour's workout or 45 yeah. minute workout. And then you can eat after that, and it just gets a bit. The gap between sort of getting your food in, even though there's yeah. no real window as such. No, no, sure. Just trying to get that food in is a bit more of a nightmare. Yeah, sure. You tend to be a bit hungrier during your workout. And yeah, especially doing like 45 minutes of cardio you're like afterwards, you're just gonna be well hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, think I just want to yeah. eat. So, all right, that, there's our tips. So, if you do, I'll, we'll break it down summary. If you're yeah. doing weight training cardio together, cardio should be more hip based. Mm -hmm. Do your weight training before, because then you can like actually have better strength and more strength in that session uh, and if you've got time to spit weight training and cardio up on different days and don't do cardio after a lower body session no cool sorted see you later see you later guys